welcome to my eco action, the suitcase project part three. I have my suitcase displayed here in um, the main entrance, sort of lobby of my apartment. Um, I just placed it there kind of suddenly, so it just kind of magically appeared one day. Um, and I think it's confused a few people and intrigued a few people. Um, I've definitely gotten people to pay attention to like it. The other part of this little exhibit I have going on is a brochure. Um, it says lichens the hidden world of microbes and you. It has information on the back about how humans have microbes in their stomachs and how that is something that kind of connects us to lots of non-human things in our ecosystem and a couple of reasons to care about lichens, as well as some ideas for walking around town to go see some lichens. All of the spots on the map are within walking distance of my apartment. This right here is just across the street, actually. This is a huge colony of Crestos lichen. Another place on the map is the beach on the end of Cornwall. There's a lot of logs here with lichen. They actually have some really cool shapes. Park is another great place to spot some lichen. There's lots on the benches, any like wood surfaces, lots of the rocks, and on a lot of the trees as well. Similar to Boulevard Park, there is a lot of lichen in Marine Park to, um, to see as well. On the trees, right here, um, on the logs and the rocks as well. Naturally, the Seahome Hill Arboretum made the map. Of course, going to the woods is the best place to find lichen.
last point on the map points out the highway that takes you up to Mount Baker. That's definitely not in walking distance from my apartment, but it is important if you really want to see beard lichen, like these beautiful beard lichens. Most of the lichen samples I collected were taken from the mountains, like right here. And I wanted to make sure people knew where to find these awesome specimens. I think it's important to go on adventures and explore and um, get outside, especially during COVID. And I think that if people are enjoying exploring the Lycans in Bellingham, then they'd enjoy coming up here. This eco action isn't so much a call to action as it is a call to attention. If people pay attention to lichen, then they're paying attention to their ecosystem and reconnecting to nature. So I'm hoping that these people get excited with the lichen that they can see in Bellingham and start exploring up here, and that their attention to nature becomes an intention to protect nature. Lichen has the unique ability to hone our attention through all of the tiny little details. You have to get really close and kind of squint a little to really get the full effect of lichen. And it's a whole adventure just looking for it. So the point is to get people outside, to get people looking for lichen and having that adventure and just reconnecting with their connection to nature and realizing that even though we are in an urban setting, we're still wild. That's basically the gist. I think that people have really taken an interest and I also have a little guest book for people um, just to sign in and let me know their comments after visiting this little mini museum. Um, yeah, and as you can see, there's a lot here. So I had a lot to say. A couple of people were just confused. Other thought it was, others thought it was just a cool idea. Um, a few said thank you. A few noted what parts of the designs they liked. Um, and it seems like for the most part, people have really enjoyed having this little exhibit here. So. Thanks for watching.